guys, we're going to fire up because we have got a long news you can use. This is going to be my semi-annual um, the uh, of the housing markets that you either want to avoid or the ones you want to be in. And, and frankly, they're the ones that I would want to be in now. These are going to be the, the top 40 housing markets today that are the most in default. So if you are a follower of any of our equity buyout clinics, and if you're not at the end of this call, I actually will tell you how to get a copy of the equity buyout clinic that we held in, uh, I think it was February, and March of this year. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go through the current markets uh, that are the worst in the U.S. for foreclosures, where there's the most amount of foreclosures. And there's a, a another uh, vacancy rate uh, statistic that we're starting to look at this year, and it's actual numbers of homes that are owned by the homeowners that are currently vacant. So these aren't rental homes. These are homes where the first person, the person who got the loan is actually living in it. And there is one market in the United States that is approaching 10%. You guys are gonna be shocked at what this market is. It's gonna be on this list because it is also one of the highest foreclosure rate markets in the US. But uh, just for, for fun, I'd like everybody to put into the chat as you guys hear these cities and states, give me your guess as to what you think the worst foreclosure or best foreclosure market, depending on how you wanna look at it, the, the market that has the most foreclosures that I'm gonna read. And then the one that has the highest homeowner vacancy rate. The interesting thing about homeowner vacancy rate, this was the statistic that we did in, we fought, started following 2007 and eight. And it's when people got to the end of their rope, they just walked away from their houses. And for those of you who were in the market back then, you probably remember a lot of these homeowners, you know, they, they'd say they'd throw the keys back to the bank and that kind of thing, but they literally just walked away. They didn't even bother with the foreclosure process. They just abandoned their house. We've got one city in the United States, like I said, you guys are going to be shocked, um, where this number is almost currently 10%. 10% of all the homes owned by people who are supposed to be living in them are currently vacant, where they've just literally walked away. This is a real canary in the mine shaft, as, in, as far as I'm concerned. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about it after we go through the list. So let's get started. These are in no particular order, um, but go, go ahead and give us your guesses as the, the worst market for foreclosures or best market for foreclosures if you're in that business and the one that has the highest homeowner vacancy rate first up on our list in the northeast hartford connecticut number two pittsburgh pennsylvania where i have unfortunately a lot of rental property hampton virginia is next clearwater florida corpus christi texas newark new jersey San Antonio, Texas, Killian, Texas, a lot of Texas, a lot of Texas cities on this list today. Louisville, Kentucky, which is actually a, another market that we just started entering. I may back up and not do that based on this information. Jacksonville, Florida. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Miami, Florida. Atlanta, Georgia. So you can see there's big cities and there are small cities. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Topeka, Kansas. Memphis, Tennessee. Amarillo, Texas. Birmingham, Alabama. Norfolk, Virginia. Springfield, Massachusetts, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Orlando, Florida, El Paso, Texas, Syracuse, New York, Miami Beach, Florida, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is probably in the top two or three rehab markets in the United States even today, but it also has a very high foreclosure rate. Uh, about 5% of the 691,000 homes are in foreclosure from 30 to 90 plus days delinquent right now. Little Rock, Arkansas. 
Brownsville, Texas. Lafayette, Louisiana. Mobile, Alabama. NOLA, New Orleans, Louisiana. Augusta, Georgia. Baltimore, Maryland. Columbus, Georgia. Shreveport, Louisiana. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Get near the end here, guys. Jackson, Mississippi. Macon, Georgia. Laredo, Texas. That's it. All right, what do we get for guesses? Who's guessing here? Uh, who's made some guesses as to the city that has the worst foreclosure rate? Any guesses there, uh, Ashley? Mm, I'm guessing it's somewhere probably in like North Carolina or Florida. Yep. Okay. What do you guess, uh, Brandy, Kevin? Any guesses? I said Fayetteville, North Carolina. Close. Kevin, anything? Or Winston-Salem. <laughs> I have no idea. All right. Uh, the Right now, today, the current worst place in the United States for foreclosures are the best, Laredo, Texas. So you guessed right, actually, uh, Florida or Texas. Uh, there is a, you guys heard the names, there's a great preponderance of folks in the southern states that are on this list. There are something like three out of four names of cities here are south of the Mason-Dixon Rhine. So that probably says something. The city that has the most abandoned homes. Um, any guesses? Anybody want to take a shot at that one? You're not going to guess, I don't think. Because it's a market that you think is an extremely high end, probably the highest end market on the ones that I mentioned. It's Miami Beach, Florida. Interesting. Miami Beach, Florida has over 10% of their homes have been walked away from in the last three months. Uh, currently over 10% of the homes are vacant and abandoned by the owners. Um, so for those of you who do business in Florida, probably should have gone through this on Tuesday morning when we have a lot of our Florida crew on the calls. Uh, you know, there's a lot of deals in Florida. Right behind that was Orlando uh, with abandoned properties. And you, know, you look at the markets around the country and you think, geez, if Miami Beach is in trouble, um, you know, what are some of these other cities doing in, in Orlando with, you know, Universal and Disney and, and all those places around there and the second highest city with abandoned homes in the country. Um, anyway, the average you know, on this list six months ago was six tenths of 1% in foreclosure. The average on this list today is 6.6%. So in a six month period of time, it has gone up 11 fold. The average vacant or abandoned owner, in theory, owner occupied house six months ago was 0.8%. And the average on this list is about six and a half percent. So once again, you have about an eight fold increase in numbers of homes. You don't see this on the news a lot. You know, they're still arguing, is there going to be a crash? What's going to happen? It's already happened, guys. Some of these numbers are, are huge. I mean, when you take big city populations uh, like Memphis, for example, and even with a small 6% on a 800,000 population, it's 48,000 homes that are in foreclosure. And there's another 30,000 that are abandoned. I mean, you add those two together and you've got, uh, in all of these cities, you've got over 10% uh, of the homes are either currently in foreclosure or already a vacant, abandoned. There's a huge market out there for this kind of stuff. So if you guys haven't already uh, really looked at buying foreclosure properties, buying things in default, I would seriously look at it. We're getting a lot of calls across the board from sellers who are behind on their payments, but this is really a, a good thing that you guys ought to be looking at getting into. And I would strongly encourage, if you haven't already gotten a copy of the, the course, the uh, equity buyout course, six week or five week equity buyout course, 
uh, reach out to Ashley and uh, she can get you a copy of that. All right, so that's it. A little bit longer news you can use than normal. Um, let's go ahead. Do we have any, buddy has any hands up or any questions or calls? I don't see anything at the moment. All right. I'm going to tell you guys about a house that I bought yesterday afternoon. Um, it was a friend of mine. It was a friend of his. And uh, he called and said, hey, can you call this guy down the street? Uh, this guy uh, is uh, a VA, a disabled VA guy um, or on full disability. Um, and he wants to move back to Texas. He's living in uh, Murrieta, uh, California, which is between, say, Riverside and San Diego, Inland, Inland Empire and South. It's a, it's a more moderately priced area of California. I say moderately priced, and his homes are worth, you know, five dollars $600,000. And that's considered kind of a lower price in California. The average price in California is about eight fifty dollars right now. And it, um, it, it is going down, but it's not going down as fast as we're seeing other parts of the country, uh, surprisingly. Anyway, um, I called the guy yesterday and, and just you know, said, hey, my buddy said you want us to um, to move and you want to get out of this thing right away. What are you looking for? He said, I owe 342. And he says, I want to get enough money to pay off that loan. And I want $5,000 uh, for moving money. And I said, done. And um, I had looked at the property and it's worth four, seven, eight, roughly. Um, you know, so... These are the kind of deals now he's behind a payment, um, you know, and he just wants out. These are the kind of deals you're going to see coming up like crazy. Uh, the, the entire call was less than five minutes uh, to get that deal done. And then the, the time it's going to take to generate the contract and to send it over, uh, which is another three or four or five minutes. So, you can do this business in a short period of time and you can pick up, you know, big paydays. They're not, they don't happen every day, but they happen some days. And, uh, you know, you can bide your time doing five, 10 or $15,000 deals. But if you're in this thing long enough and you get the word out that you're in this business to enough people, you will end up picking up 10, 20, 50, 80, hundred thousand uh, dollar profit deals. Um, and you're, you're able to help folks as well. So,